Hey guys, welcome to Storytime with Frank. Um, this is my new channel that I've kind of pulled away from my daily vlog channel. I was telling stories on there before. I really wanted to separate them and be able to just have a place where you guys can go watch the stories. So, because that's really my, my big thing here is I've got a ton of stories. Just crazy things always happen. So I've got all these stories. So the story I'm going to tell today happened around, I want to say 96 or 97. Um, a guy I was friends with at the time, um, we were, well, we were about to be roommates. We decided to, uh, even though we worked together, we didn't really know each other all that well. So we figured we'd go to Austin. Uh, I was living in uh, Arlington at the time. So we decided to go to Austin for the weekend. I knew there was a Horns game. They were playing football in town. They were playing Kansas State. And so we decided to go down. I figured that's perfect time. There's tons of people down there. We'll have a lot of fun. So we go down Friday. We both worked the day shift. So we drove down Friday. And um, this was long enough ago. It may have even been longer than that because the um, airport was still downtown in Austin. Mueller was still an airport. So... Because I can remember planes taking off. And we were at that hotel. There's a Baby Acapulco's on 35, and there's a hotel right beside it, and that's where we stayed. And the first night we went to Baby Acapulco's and got trashed. I mean, like, seriously, didn't know what we were doing trash. And luckily, we were right next door um, at the hotel, so that's where we ended up going. Back to, we had a rental car. We decided to go to, everybody recommended to go to Baby Ace, so that's where we went. And uh, they serve these big, huge margaritas. It's crazy. Anyway, so the next night we decide to go to 6th Street. And we're just going to go bar to bar to bar to bar and just see what was going on. So we ended up hanging out with some people and meeting some people and drinking a bunch. And um, those that have seen my tattoo on my back, that's the night I got the tattoo on my back. Which is like a skull that's peeking out from underneath my skin that's torn. I got that that night. Um, uh, River City Tattoo used to be down on 6th Street, and you had to go upstairs, I think it was. And so that's we ended up going up there, and the guy gave me a really great deal on it. So anyway, that's the night that, that happened. But um, so the night was kind of uneventful, and I've had other times down on 6th Street where I've told people, oh, don't worry about it. It's not that crazy. It's not as crazy as it sounds and something crazy happens. Um, and this is kind of what started it because I'd been to 6th Street before, but never when there had been a game. So this was like packed full of people. So anyway, uh, the bars were closing up. Uh, we hadn't met any girls or anything. We had talked to a few. It wasn't no big deal. Um, and my friend was a real big talker. So he you know, like to talk to the girls. So we were leaving and we were walking down the street and we were both pretty hammered. So we knew that we were going to end up having to take a cab back. But luckily our car rental company said, if you go down to 6th Street and you get drunk, call us. We'll come pick up the car. We'll bring it back to the hotel for you, which was totally cool. It's like one of the coolest things anybody's ever done for me. So as far as, you know, a corporation, so we left the car and we were going to take a cab back. We were walking back down towards the car to make sure it was secure. And um, then we were going to take a cab back. And they were going to come get the car sometime that night and, and drive it back. So we were walking down the street. And there was this girl walking towards us. And she had like a ski cap on. And she had it pulled down over her eyes because she was drunk. And my friend and I were talking and she basically ran into him like boom ran into him and he grabbed her by the shoulders and he was like whoa are you okay and she said yes and then he kissed her and so they were kissing and i was laughing because i was like this is crazy this why would something so crazy this girl just bump into him and they start making out and then i see i'm they're standing over here kissing they're probably three feet away from me and I'm laughing and I see this guy come from inside this building and come running at us 
And even as drunk as I was, I knew what was about to happen. I was like, oh my God, this guy is about to beat the crap out of us. Uh, and there's cops everywhere, but you know, a big guy like that, he's much bigger than I was. Uh, and even at the time I was really skinny. So I had, you know, muscle tone, but I was really super skinny. So if he'd have hit me, I probably wouldn't have been able to take the hit or if I had, it would have probably knocked me down and I'd have been hurting. So I saw and he was pulling back that fist and I grabbed my friend's shirt on his shoulder and I pulled him back because I figured, well, if nothing else, if I pull my friend back and the guy tries to hit, maybe he'll fall between the girl, which I figure is his girlfriend and at, at this point and my friend and he'll just fall between us and then we can take off and so this is happening in a matter of seconds so somehow my brain was sober enough to go oh crap I grab my friend pulling back well, when I do the girls holding on to him so the girl comes forward so basically what happens is is I pull him like this the guy's throwing the punch so my friend's head is is here and her head is here so when I pull him her head's here and this dude's fist is here so basically he goes boom and hits his girlfriend in the face like full speed running and had thrown a full just straight punch and hit her dead on right in the face and um, knocked her completely out and he was standing there in shock and then he started screaming at us and luckily Luckily, 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 there was a cop breaking up something, an argument or something. Well, somebody he was pulling away from somebody else, the cop was, he'd pulled him and then he turned and when he did, he saw the moment of impact. So he basically lets that person go, runs over and tackles the guy to the ground and cuffs him. This girl, this poor girl is out cold like not like she's breathing but she's doing that thing if you ever watch knockout videos on YouTube where those people make that weird sound of breathing they're like uh, uh, like that like that moaning sound basically what she was doing and you could already see like her face was changing colors from like red and it was getting darker and darker and darker like he hit her hard and like the hardest I've ever seen anybody take a punch. So I was like, holy crap. And the cops said, the other cops come around and said, what happened? I said, I said, this girl was walking down the street. She had her ski cap over her face. She ran into my friend by accident. They just started kissing. Her boyfriend came out of that bar and came and ran. And I grabbed my friend to pull him away. And when I did, she had a hold of his shirt. And I, when I pulled him, she kind of fell forward and her boyfriend threw a punch and ended up hitting her. And um, the cop was like, are you sure that's what happened? And I was like, well, I'm pretty sure, but I'm drunk, but I'm pretty sure that's what happened. And the cop that had tackled him said, that's not the way I saw it. I saw it that um, the guy yelled at his girlfriend and then came over and punched her. And I was like, well, I guess it's possible, but I thought that he was punching my, but he was going to punch my friend. The cop's like, no, 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 I think he was punching her. It's like, okay, well, come to find out, the cop said that because I guess this guy had caused problems before, or they knew who he was, or they had gotten, I think they had broken up a fight with him previous in the night, and so they were ready to take his ass to jail, and so they basically, that's what they said, and uh, which was partially true. I mean, he did hit her. So whether it was accidental or not, he needed to go to jail because he was obviously drunk and crazy and had no reason to do that. So anyway, um, her friend had showed up and was like, what's going on? And I kind of told her and the cops were talking to her. And so they took her in an ambulance and I said, where are you guys taking her? We want to check up on her. You know, I kind of feel responsible for this. And the cop was like, you're not responsible. This guy has caused problems before. He's caused problems tonight. You know, we don't know that this wouldn't have happened or that he wouldn't have hit her for kissing your friend anyway. And I was like, okay, whatever. So they ended up taking her, I want to say to Brackenridge, uh, which is county hospital. I guess it's still a county hospital. I'm not too sure anymore because it, it's owned by a corporation now. But anyway, we ended up going the next day because we ended up taking a cab back and passed out. 
Next day, I was like, let's get in the room, car. Let's go down to the hospital, see if she's still there. She's still there. He had fractured her cheekbone and dislocated her jaw, but she was kind of doped up and feeling better, and I felt so bad, and she said uh, that her boyfriend had been, like, really, like, overly jealous and had been, like... He hadn't ever hit her, but he'd grabbed her and made her feel like scared of him. So she said this is the perfect time for her to get out. And she was she was not mad at us. She was having fun that night. Uh, she think, thought my friend was a really good kisser. Um, and you know, and that was kind of an intro for my friend. If he hadn't have been such a I don't know scumbag, this might have been a girl he could have been with. And she was super sweet. And she was in. In school, I, I cannot remember to this day what she was, um, what her major was. But anyway, um, I ended up talking to her a couple of other times when she would call our apartment to want to talk to him, and she had been doing better and was back in school, and everything was healed up, and she hadn't seen the guy, and he wasn't in school anymore. And so um, it's definitely a crazy situation. It's one of the craziest things I've ever seen to see a grown man. This guy, be honest, he was probably six, seven, or six, eight, and all of probably 285. I mean, I'm six, three, and I'm 280, and I'm fat. So this guy had a little bit of a gut, but he had a big, like, barrel chest and big shoulders and big neck muscles. And I have big hands, but my forearms aren't very big, and his forearms were huge. So, you know, when he got in there and he, he, kind of cocked his hips a little bit when he threw that punch. He hit her hard. I mean, just like, and when she hit, she didn't fall straight over. She like, I don't know, it's so weird. Her feet kind of slid on the ground a little bit as she was standing up. Like, she was falling over, but her feet were sliding on the pavement, and then she hit. So it was nearly like a cartoon. It was, like, so crazy. I replay it all the time on my mind when I'm, when I'm telling people a story because it's just so crazy. There's no way to recreate that. So anyway, that's my crazy story for the day. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like this story. Hit that like button. Um, that definitely helps me out. Subscribe to this channel. Uh, I'm going to try to do at least once a week you'll get a story. It's probably going to be more than once a week. It just depends on uh, what my timeline is for everything. And then um, I should have an intro on this video. I had an intro made. Um, for this channel and then my Franken vlog channel and if you look to on my main page to the right under my other channels you see the Franken vlog channel and there's also uh, Jack Holes of the Week channel so you guys go check those out subscribe to them and I will uh, see you guys on the Franken vlog channel every day and look out for this channel there should be another story coming up hopefully um, sometime this coming up week, I'll record another one and post it. Have a great day.